If you've been watching my content, you know I'm really passionate about people that want to make a difference. So I've trained thought leaders. Why? Because I believe that thought leadership is the best form of entrepreneurship. After all, it's only thought leaders that try and change the world through their ideas and their messages. Now, one of the things that I do say to people is, if they're really passionate about changing or disrupting something in the world, shifting human consciousness or changing people's paradigms, they must consider publishing a book. A lot of the times I get people saying, but isn't every second person publishing a book these days? So with me, I've got Karen McDermott, who is a professional publisher. And we're having this conversation right now about why it is important for some people to publish a book. And also, Karen, I'd love to know from you, what type of people do you go up to and say you must publish? Ron, if you're in business, you should have a book. Because you have a perspective that nobody else has. You have, whenever you are able to get into the hands and into the hearts and into the minds of readers, when somebody is reading your book, you have their full attention. You need to write a book if you're in business. Every business owner should have a book. But, but is, it, is there a risk of using a book as a tactic? Because a lot of the times I find that there are some people saying write a book because it's a business card. But what happens to the quality of what you're writing? Because I would hate to buy a book and then read that book and find that the author's wasted my time because their intent was just to create a business card. I understand that and I appreciate what you're saying. But if you have your framework right, and um, if you believe and you're on a mission and you have you can fill content in your book, then you need to, to give that to your audience. Your audience needs that. They need to come to your speaking gig that you will get because you've got a book. And they need to bring your book home with them so that they are not leaving to, uh, craving more. They leave and they have your book to go home to and to read. And to bring your thought leadership home with them so that they can have it shared in their in their network. It's really vital. If you have thought thought leadership, you need to have a book to have it. Uh, I'm really glad you said that because a lot of the times people say, but there's already been thousands of books written on leadership, for example. And my response is, but you haven't written it. If you've got a different perspective, then you must take the time to put that on paper and share it with the world. Karen, thank you for your time today. You're very welcome, man.